Well, it's very unique. Uh, we are one of only half a dozen locations in Canada that has the Wallamai pine. Uh, we're very excited. The horticulturists and botanists on staff are very excited because of the possibilities for um, miraculous medicinal qualities it might have, having been a survivor of thousands and thousands of years. Um, but it's also exciting to think that we have a tree here that was pronounced extinct and that uh, in 1994 was rediscovered by this young man in the rainforest in uh, just outside Sydney in Australia. It's, it's this sort of fern-like look about it which uh, I think uh, intrigued me plus the uh, bark of the tree which is so unusual with this sort of um, like a sort of bees on a, it's just just so so different. People are very excited uh, people are actually coming from quite a long distance to see these Wallamai pines. Well, I was on a CBC program. They were talking about the, the pine, and uh, when they said it was in Burlington, that, you know, pretty lucky that we live right around the corner. There's apparently only two in Canada. I think it's great value for the RBG. I think it's fantastic. I think it's the best move they could have made was to get one. Yeah, it is a value because it isn't too often that uh, you're afforded the opportunity to come close to something like um, plant life from uh, Australia that's 250 million years old. And seeing it live is much more, uh, has much more of an impact uh, on the message. There's all kinds of medicinal um, uh, ingredients that are in these things that can hopefully be worked on and discovered. And through an exhibit like this, it just helps us to realize that there's a lot out there. Gives you a sense of possibility, I suppose, for the future. It's the, the plant equivalent of finding a dinosaur alive. So it's really, really exciting. Mm -hmm.